Hello and welcome back to Adamar's Tutorials. Um, this time we're going to make a bracelet with the same method we did um, the mask. This video is going to be very similar to my mask video, so I'm going to try and keep the basics short. If you want to see m the more in-depth details of uh, how to do um, the outlining with the hot glue gun and the materials needed, um, I would advise you to go watch my other video. Uh, I will have the materials you need listed in the down box below and I'll try and put them up on screen as well but I won't go through them in detail anymore. I've done the hard work for you guys. I've drawn up some templates which I will have available in the down box to download. As you can see there's two sort of Art Nouveau inspired ones. Uh, I have another gothic inspired one and one that is freestyle and I'm going to show you how we're going to fill that one in. So, if you want to know how to do this, keep on watching. Uh, the first step would be to plug in your hot glue gun and to prepare your work surface. Now, you're probably wondering, why did I only draw a couple of lines? Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start off with these round corner bits. And they will give you something to lace your um, strap to later on. And what I've done here is actually make you sort of a template so you can go freestyle basically. Here is really up to your own creativity to make the shapes you want. You can do whatever curls or curves you want. You could even just do crisscross lines, you know, very expressionistic and it will still look nice. When your design is cooled down, peel it off the plastic. See that my glue was a little bit, maybe a little bit too liquid when I was using it, so I didn't end up with a hole here, so I may have to actually pierce a hole here so I can uh, attach my strap. So here we are. We, I have traced all the lines with hot glue, and um, here's the peacock one. Here's the gothic one, the butterfly, and sort of the freestyle one. What we're going to do now is hold it under the hot tap, make the glue soft again, so we will be able to form it around the arm, and then we're going to spray paint them. As before, we're going to do the spray painting outside. Um, as promised, I will show you a couple more decoration options. Um, I do apologize if it's a bit windy, that might interfere with the sound. I bought some uh, different colored spray paints to show you how else you can decorate your bracelet. And just leave that to dry now. Welcome back upstairs. Um, the bracelets are now um, dry. So like I promised I want to spend a little bit more time on how I decorate them. Since the last time I made a video I actually went out and got a few more materials um, among which is this box with all kinds of different uh, rhinestones in them. Um, I thought it might be nice to get add a bit of pizzazz to the bracelet, um, so I got some sparkly stuff that we can stick on there. I also got some other gl glitter nail polishes than I had before, so I have a pink and a blue and sort of a multicolored rainbowy one. So we're going to be using those in addition to the other um, materials we used before. For this one, the sort of gothic-y one. Uh, I had envisioned that you could use maybe something like a cameo to put in the middle, like so. It would end up with quite a cool piece there. This type of cameos you can just buy in um, craft shops and uh, bead shops often sell them as well. Um, now I'm going to take some of the rhinestones, since this is sort of a gothic look, uh, I'm, I think I, uh, I'm going to go for the darkest one I have, um, and I'll be applying that with a little toothpick. 
if you want to pick up these rhinestones, what, what could also be good? It's just, just slightly dampen your um, your toothpick, or whatever you're using, and sort of pick them up that way. Um, you do need to maybe get a different um, toothpick as well to apply a little bit of glue at the back. And maybe use both of them to position them. I'm going to stick these um, little pearls and I'll see if we can stick them into the netting. You may need to add a little bit of extra glue but these are sticky on, on ones but there we go. <laughs> yeah that's kind of cool. And I'm going to follow one of the lines with this pinky glitter liner. I think that could be quite a cool effect. If you do not have any glitter or nail polish, I guess you could also, uh, like I did before, sprinkle on glitters over a clear nail vat varnish. Obviously, if you're putting these rhinestones in areas where you did put, put some nail polish, you can use the still wet nail polish to stick them down rather than the glue. It might be a little bit easier because the manipulating of these rhinestones can be quite hard. For this particular bracelet, I chose a small, uh, narrow um, purple ribbon. I intentionally left, left all these loops here so you can sort of lace it like a corset so I'm just gonna do that and then show you the end result. Um, here I am again, I have laced it. Uh, I hope you can learn from my mistakes here though. Um, I'm, before I'm gonna put this pattern up for this freestyle one I'm gonna make it a little bit longer um, because it's quite narrow on my arm and also I'm gonna make the loops a little bit wider because some of them had have kind of like um, gotten too small because the glue was too liquid. So if I'm, uh, I'm gonna draw up a new one for you guys. Also take a ribbon that's long enough <laughs> and learn from my mistake. Um, but this is sort of the idea. You lace it up like it is um, a corset and it will look pretty on the back as well. Um, you'll just have this um, and that's what it looks like up close sparkly bits on there. Next is the dragonfly bracelet. Um, I have some very very pretty blue rhinestones which I thought might be very nice for this. So um, that uh, coupled with some of the more translucent rhinestones I think will be very very pretty with this. Obviously um, wings of, um, of a dragonfly can be quite colourful so you could also do this one in a different colour. If I had had um, a sort of turquoisey spray paint I would have used that but I didn't. And this is the final look of the butter, uh, the, I keep saying butterfly, but it's actually a dragonfly, dragonfly bracelet. Uh, like I said before, this one is a little bit too wide for my arms. You can just tie it with a, with a ribbon at the back of your arm. So, uh, I've now finished pretty much all of the bracelets. The one I didn't finish is this one. Um, I do feel this is a cool um, design, but when it's on, the, the center parts is mainly what's showing and that's a pity because the detail is on the side so I don't know if this one worked out as well as it could have. Um, the one I, I like the best personally is the gothic version which could also be very very cool as a choker I think um, but you can also make something very fun uh, out of the freestyle one it's really up to you really um, I just hope this gave you some ideas on how to decorate um, these cuff bracelets and um, maybe adapt it for a choker or something else. Uh, I want to thank you very much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you, um, if you like the video and help support the channel. If you want to be notified of new videos, please subscribe and uh, until next time. Uh, I got a comment on my last video saying, uh, you make it look so easy, but <laughs> editing does a lot, <laughs> let me put it that way. And funnily enough, uh, everything that could go wrong, did go wrong um, in making this second video. Uh, I had my battery on my camera go flat, I had my cart being full while I was filming. Um, the wind was so insane that it blew over most my my bracelets, causing... Um, some of the some of the spray paint not to stick <laughs> in the first go. Also, um, one of the spray paint cans that I was using exploded all over my hand, and my entire hand was black. So I had to go clean that up first. Uh, really, you know, this was not the easiest video to make. Strangely enough, even though I had done this technique before. Um, 
yeah, things can go wrong. <laughs> Even for me. Hope you enjoyed though. Oh well, I've got them spray painted, but I would recommend not to do this on a windy day, <laughs> if at all possible. <laughs>